टुडे वी शुड डिस्कस सम मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ड्यूरिंग डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इन अ सॉल्यूशन द फॉलोइंग आर इन इक्विलिब्रियम ए लिक्विड सॉल्वेंट सॉलिड सॉल्वेंट बी लिक्विड सॉल्वेंट सॉलिड सॉल्यूट सी लिक्विड सॉल्यूट सॉलिड सॉल्यूट डी लिक्विड सॉल्यूट सॉलिड सॉल्वेंट during depression of freezing point liquid solvent and solid solvent are in equilibrium thus option a is correct what happens to the freezing point of benzene when naphthalene is added a increases b decreases c remains unchanged d first decreases and then increases freezing point of benzene decreases when naphthalene is added to it If molality of the dilute solution is doubled, the value of molar depression constant K of will be option A doubled, option B halved, option C tripled, option D unchanged. Value of K of depends upon the nature of the solvent. It does not depend upon the concentration of solution. Moreover, it is a constant. Therefore, it will remain unchanged. 31 g of ethylene glycol C2H6O2 is mixed with 500 g of solvent Kf of the solvent is 2 kelvin kg per mole what is the freezing point of the solution in kelvin freezing point of solvent is 273 kelvin option a 272 option b 271 option c 270 option d 274 option e 275 mass of solute is given w2 is equals to 31 g molar mass of ethylene glycol m2 for c2h6o2 12 into 2 plus 1 into 6 plus 16 into 2 is equals to 62 g per mole mass of solvent w1 is given 500 g kf of the solvent is given 2 kelvin kg per mole freezing point of the solution tf we have to find out freezing point of the solvent t not f is equals to 273 kelvin Put the formula delta T F is equals to T not F minus T F is equals to K F into W two into thousand divided by M two W one. Substitute the values. Two seventy three minus T F is equals to two into thirty one into thousand divided by sixty two into five hundred. Two seventy three minus T F is equals to two. Therefore, T F is equals to two seventy three minus two. That is two seventy one Kelvin. Thus, option B is correct. A solution containing 1.8 gram of a compound. Empirical formula CH2O in 40 gram of water is observed to freeze at minus 0.465 degree Celsius. Kf of water is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. The molecular formula of the compound is option A C2H4O2, option B C3H6O3, option C C4H8O4. Option D C5 H10 O5. Option E C6 H12 O6. Mass of solute W2 is equal to 1.8 gram. Mass of solvent water W1 is equal to 40 gram. Freezing point of solution Tf is equal to minus 0.465 degree Celsius. T not F is equal to 0 degree Celsius. Delta Tf is equal to T not F minus T F that is equals to zero minus minus zero point four six five that is equals to zero point four six five degree Celsius or in terms of Kelvin also it will be same that is zero point four six five Kelvin value of K F is one point eight six Kelvin kg per mole and now we have to find out M two apply the formula of M two M two is equals to K F into W two into thousand divided by delta T F W one substitute the values. It will be 180 gram per mole. Now we have to find out the value of n. Formula is molecular mass divided by empirical formula mass. Molecular mass is 180. Empirical formula mass for CH2O that is 12 plus 1 into 2 plus 16 is equals to 30. So 180 divided by 30 is equals to 6. Molecular formula is equals to empirical formula into n. Empirical formula is CH2 multiplied by value of n that is 6. So CH2 into 6 is equals to 
C6H12O6. This option E is correct. A 5% solution by mass of cane sugar in water has freezing point of 271 Kelvin and freezing point of pure water is 273.15 Kelvin. The freezing point of a 5% solution by mass of glucose in water is A. 271 Kelvin, B. 273.15 Kelvin, C. 269.07 Kelvin, D. 277.23 Kelvin. Now we take the ratio delta Tf of cane sugar divided by delta Tf of glucose is equals to molar mass of glucose divided by molar mass of cane sugar. Rest of the things from the formula will get cancelled because those are same according to the question. Formula of delta Tf is T0 F minus Tf of cane sugar divided by T0 F minus Tf of glucose is equals to molar mass of glucose divided by molar mass of cane sugar. Substitute the values. 273.15 minus 271 divided by 273.15 minus Tf of glucose is equals to molar mass of glucose 180 gram per mole and that of cane sugar is 342 gram per mole. 2.15 divided by 273.15 minus Tf of glucose is equals to 10 divided by 19. 2.15 into 19 is equals to 273.15 into 10 minus 10 Tf of glucose. 40.85 minus 2731.5 is equals to minus 10 Tf of glucose. Work out the value of Tf of glucose, you will get 2690.65 divided by 10, that is 269.065 Kelvin. Thus, option C is correct. Freezing point of urea solution is minus 0.6 degrees Celsius. How much urea of molecular weight 60 gram per mole required to be dissolved in 0.3 kg of water? Kf is equals to 1.5 degrees Celsius kg per mole. Option A 3.6 gram, option B 2.4 gram, option C 7.2 gram, option D 6 gram. Freezing point of solution Tf is equals to minus 0.6 degrees Celsius mass of solute W2 we have to find out molar mass of solute M2 is 60 gram per mole mass of solvent W1 is given 0.3 kg so that is equals to 300 gram cryoscopic constant Kf is given 1.5 Kelvin kg per mole freezing point of water T0F is equals to 273 Kelvin or 0 degree Celsius now apply the formula delta Tf is equals to T naught F minus Tf is equals to Kf into W2 into 1000 divided by M2 W1. Substitute the values 0 minus minus 0 0.6 is equals to value of Kf 1.5 into W2 into 1000 molar mass of solute 60 and mass of solvent 300 gram. Find out W2. W2 is equals to 0 0.6 into 60 into 300 divided by 1.5 into 1000. That is equals to 7.2 gram. Thus, option C is correct. After adding a solute, freezing point of solution decreases to minus 0 0.186. Calculate delta Tb if Kf is equal to 1.86 and Kb is equals to 0 0.521. Option A 0.521, Option B 0.0521, Option C 1.86, Option D 0.0186. Delta Tf is equals to 0.186 Kelvin. Delta Tb we have to find out. Kf is given 1.86, Kb is also given 0.521. Now we will take the ratio. Delta Tf divided by Delta Tb is equals to Kf divided by Kb. Rest of the things will get cancelled from the formula. Substitute the values 0 0.186 divided by delta Tb is equals to 1.86 divided by 0 0.521. Delta Tb is equals to 0 0.186 into 0 0.521 divided by 1.86. Thus, 
delta T V is equal to 0.0521 Kelvin. Therefore, option B is correct.